everybody and welcome to Municipal Stadium in Cleveland as the 3-2 Cleveland Indians take on the 4-1 Tigers. Pitching today for the Indians is going to be Sam McDowell. He's 0-1 on the season. He had a rough outing his first time. He went seven innings, gave up seven hits, walked two, and struck out four. And here comes the Tiger lineup leading off and playing second base is going to be Dick Trzewski. Batting second and playing shortstop is Mickey Stanley. Batting third is the right fielder, Al Kaline. Batting fourth is the first baseman, Norm Cash. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Willie Horton. Batting sixth is the catcher, Bill Freehand. Batting seventh is the center fielder, Jim Northrup. Batting eighth is playing third base is Don Wirt. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Earl Wilson. Let's look at the Indians defensively. Said McDowell is pitching. And the catcher is going to be Joe Askew. Playing first base is going to be Tony Horton. The second baseman is Vern Fuller. The third baseman is Zio Versales. The shortstop is Larry Brown today. In left field is Lee May. The outfield, center field is going to be Jose Cardinal. And in right field is going to be Russ Snyder. And McDowell's getting his sign from Askew as Trzewski walks to the plate. And here comes the pitch. There's going to be a fly ball lower towards right. Snyder makes the catch, and there's one down. Here comes Mickey Stanley. He's playing shortstop today. He has a home run and four RBIs on the early part of the season. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. That's going to be a little ground ball over towards Fuller. And he's going to make the play, and there's going to be two down. And here comes Al Kaline. Kaline has two homers and has four RBIs on the season. Here comes the pitch. And that's going to be a long drive way back, and it's going to be caught on the warning track. Good play by May to get out there, and that's going to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the first. There's no score. Earl Wilson's doing the pitching for the Tigers. He is 1-0 with a 1.00 earn on average in his first start of the season. He struck out eight in that first start. Let's look at the Indian lineup. Leading off and playing center field is Jose Cardinal. Batting second is the shortstop, Larry Brown. Batting third, the right fielder, Russ Snyder. Batting fourth, the first baseman, Tim Horton. Batting fifth is the left fielder, Lee May. Batting sixth is the catcher, Joe Askew. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Zio Versales. Batting eighth is the second baseman, Vern Fuller. And batting ninth is the pitcher, Sam McDowell. And here comes Cardinal walking up to the plate. Earl Wilson looking in to get his sign from Freehand. Here comes the pitch. And Cardinal's gonna slap that one into the outfield right up the middle, and he's gonna be on. Here comes Brown, stolen up. Cardinal trying to get a good lead over there at first. And he's off and running, and here's the throw. And they got him. They peg Jose Cardinal, and there's one down. Here's Larry Brown. Brown has no homers, two RBIs. Here comes a pitch from Wilson. Be a little tapper towards third. Should be an easy play for Don Wirt, and there are two down. Here's Snyder. No homers, no RBIs. Here comes a pitch from Wilson. Gonna be a little ground ball towards second. Trzewski's gonna make the play, and that's the inning. So the Indians had gotten the leadoff man, but he was thrown out at second on a stolen base. When we head to the second, there's no score. There's Norm Cash. Here comes a pitch from McDowell. And that's going to be a base hit for Cash. Right up the middle. Cardinal gets it in. Cash is on. And here's Willie Horton. Comes the pitch from McDowell. There's a base hit in the right. 
Cash will hold at second. And the Indians move their corners in, and here's Bill Freehand. Here comes the pitch. There's a base hit in the left. And Cash is rounding third and heading for home. And May comes up throwing. And he's not gonna get him, and the run will score, and the Tigers are up one to nothing. Horton, free, Horton and Freehand advance on the throws. And here we are in the bottom of the, in the top of the second, one nothing Tigers, nobody out. And here's Jim Northrup. Here comes the pitch. It's gonna be a little ground ball over towards Fuller. He's gonna have to hurry. And he's not gonna get it. And Northrup will have himself a single. And it's now 2 nothing Tigers. Here's Don Wirt. Runners on the corner, nobody out. And here comes the pitch. And he, he walked him. So McDowell walks Wirt. And the bases are loaded, nobody out. And here's Earl Wilson. Here comes the pitch. It's gonna be a little fly ball out towards left. It seems to be deep enough to score freehand. And it is not, and they will hold him. Here's Dick Trzewski. And he's 0 for 1. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And that's a ground ball over towards Fuller. And Fuller goes to second on the first not in time. Trzewski beats it out, and it's now 3-0 Indians. And here is Mickey Stanley. Two outs, runners on the corners. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. So first strike out of the game for McDowell, and the Tigers are down, but they do some damage. It's 3-0. Here's Horton versus Wilson. He struck him out. And there is one down. Here's Lee May. Comes the pitch from Wilson. That's on the ground towards Trzewski. And he's gonna bobble it, and May is gonna be on with a spare. And here is Askew. Comes the pitch from Wilson. And it's going to be a line shot right at Wirt. And there are two down. And here is Zio Versalis. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. That's going to be a fly ball out towards right field. Should be an easy play for K-Line, and it is, and the inning is over. We head to the top of the third. It's 3-0 Tigers. Here's K-Line. He's 0-for-1 today. He flew out his last time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. That's going to be on the ground towards Brown. Brown charging. And he throws him out. And there's one down. Here's Cash. He singled his last time up and scored a run. And here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. Strikeout number two for Sam McDowell. And there are two down. Here's Willie Horton. He's got a single and a run scored. And here comes the pitch. And he struck him out. McDowell rings up two in a row. That's going to end the inning. We head to the bottom of the third. It's 3 0 Tigers. Here's Fuller. He's the second baseman today. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. And it's hit on the ground over towards Wirt. Wirt fields it cleanly, throws him out, and there's one down, and here's McDowell. Not a good hitting pitcher. And here comes the pitch from Wilson. 
He's going to hit that one out towards right. Should be an easy play for K-Line. And there are two down. Here comes Cardinal. He's singled on his first time up. Just caught stealing. And here comes the pitch from Wilson. He struck him out. And the Indians go down. One, two, three here in the third. We head to the bottom of the top of the fourth. It's 3 0 Tigers. There's Bill Freehand. He's got a single on an RBI today. That's his fifth RBI of the year. He's hitting 421 through five games. And here is the pitch from McDowell. That's going to be a weak round ball over towards Horton. He's going to make the play. And there's one down. Here's Northrop. He's one for one. Has an RBI today. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And that's a base hit for Northrop into center field. There's one on, one out. And here's Don Wirt. He drew a walk his first time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he hits it hard. Right at Versalis. And there are two away. And here's the pitcher, Wilson, who flew out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And it's going to be hit out towards Jose Cardinal. And he is chasing it down. And he's going to make the catch. And that's the inning. We head to the bottom of fourth. Three nothing, Tigers. Peanuts, peanuts, get your peanuts here. Here's Larry Brown. He's 0 for 1 today. Wilson cruising through the first three innings here. He's only given up a hit and has struck out two. Here comes a pitch from Wilson to Brown. And it's hit sharply on the ground over towards Trzuski, and there's going to be one away. Here comes Snyder. He's 0 for 1. He grounded out his first time up. There's going to be a fly ball out towards Horton. Easy play for him, and there are two down. Here is... Tony Horton, 0 for 1 today. He struck out his first time up. Wilson gets his sign from freehand. And here's the pitch. And he struck him out. That's strikeout number three for Wilson. And the Indians again do nothing. And we head to the fifth. It's 3 nothing Tigers. Here's Trzuski. He is 0 for 2 today with an RBI. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. That's number four for McDowell. And here's Mickey Stanley. He's 0 for 2 today. Here comes the pitch. It's going to be a little pop-up over towards short. Should be an easy play for Brown, and it is. And he got it right on the outfield grass, and there are two down. Here's K-Line. He's 0 for 2. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he hits it hard on the ground towards Versalis, and he picks it up, throws him out, and the inning is over. And to the bottom of the fifth, there's three nothing Tigers. Here's Lee May. May reached on an error his first time up. Peanuts, get your peanuts here. There comes the pitch from Wilson. And there's a base hit for May. There's Askew, he's 0 for 1. Lined out back in the second. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. Easy play for K-Line, and there's one down. And so here we go, one on, one out here in the fifth, and here comes Versales. He's 0 for 1. He flew out his first time up. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. And this one's hit on the ground towards Stanley. This could be two. And he flips to Trzuski for one. Can't get Versalles on the relay. And there are two outs with a man on. So a force play. And here is Vern Fuller. Fuller 0 for 1 with a man on here. And here comes the pitch from Wilson. That's going to be a fly ball out towards right field. K-Line tracking it down. And it's he's not going to get it. It's going to drop in front of him. And Fuller is on. 
Rosales rounds second. And he will head the third on the play. And the Indians have runners on the corners. Two outs for the pitcher, McDowell. Here comes the pitch. McDowell's 0 for 1. And he hits it out to left field. Should be an easy play for Horton to end the inning, and it is. The Indians threaten, but get nothing. We head to the sixth. It's 3-0 Tigers. Here's Cash. He is 1 for 2 today with a base hit and a strikeout. And here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he walked him. So Cash draws a walk. And here is Willie Horton. Horton one for two today with a single and a strikeout. Here comes the pitch. And that's a base hit. Slaps it in the center field. Cash will hold at second, and the Tigers have runners on first and second. Nobody out. And here's Bill Freehand. McDonald's shaking his head. He seems a little frustrated right now. Joe Askew out there to talk to him. Settle his pitcher down a little bit here in the sixth. Askew gets behind the plate. Here comes Freehand. He's one for two today with an RBI. McDowell gets his sign. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a fly ball out towards May, and it should be an easy play, and it is, and there's one down. Here's Northrop, two for two, single and an RBI. McDowell gets his sign. Delivers. There's a fly ball out towards center. Cardinal chasing hard. And he's going to make the catch. Runners don't go anywhere. And there are two down. And here is Don Wirt. 0 for 1 today. He had a foul out and a walk. McDowell looks in gets his sign. Here comes the pitch. And he walked him. So bases are loaded for Wilson. Two outs. Wilson's 0 for 2 today. He's flown out both times. And here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he greases one right down the middle. And that's all going to be a base hit. That's going to score a run, maybe two. And Horton's rounding it. And they cut it off. And they're going to throw for the trailing runner. And they're not going to get him. And the Tigers are now up five to nothing. As McDowell just is struggling here today. And here is Dick Trzewski. He's 0 for 3 with an RBI. And he hits it on the ground towards the shortstop Brown. And that's going to end the inning. We head to the bottom of sixth. It's 5 nothing Tigers. Here's Jose Cardinal. There's gonna be a fly ball out towards center field. Easy play for Northrop, and there's one down. Here's Brown. Here comes uh, that's a, he hits it on the ground towards Mickey Stanley. Stanley scoops it up, throws him out, and there are two away. Here's Russ Snyder, 0 for 2. And he walked him. It's the first walk given up by Wilson. And here's Tony Horton. He struck out twice today. Here comes a pitch from Wilson. He's going to lift that one out towards right field. Easy play for K-Line. And that's going to end the inning. We head to the seventh. It's 5-0 Tigers. McDowell's still in the ball game, and here's Mickey Stanley. Here comes the pitch. We a ground ball over towards Fuller. Easy play for him, and there's one away. Here's Al Kaline, he's 0 for 3 today. McDowell gets his sign and he sets and delivers. It's gonna be a ground ball right back towards McDowell. 
McDowell fields it cleanly. Throws out K-Line and there's two down. There's Cash, he's one for two with a walk and a single, couple runs scored. McDowell into the windup and delivers. And there's gonna be extra bases for Cash as he splits the outfielders up against the wall and he's gonna be into second with a double. And here's Willie Horton, two for three today with a couple runs scored and a strikeout. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. He's gonna lift that out towards Cardinal and that's gonna end the inning. At the end of six and a half, five nothing Tigers. One for two today. Wilson had pitching a three hit shutout so far. Here comes a pitch to May, and he hit him. So May is on. Here's Askew, 0 for 2, line out in the fly out. There's going to be a fly ball out towards right. K line's got that one, and there's one down. Here comes the pitch for Salis. It's gonna be a little ground ball toward short, could be two. And it is, double play. And we head to the top of the eighth. It's five nothing Tigers on your home for Stratomatic Baseball. Here's Bill Freehand, he's one for three today. McDowell still in the ball game. Here comes the pitch. It's gonna be on the ground towards Brown. A weak ground ball and he throws him out. And there's one down. Here's Northrop, two for three, has an RBI. Here comes the pitch from McDowell. And he struck him out. Northrop swung right through it. And there's two outs here in the eighth. That's the fifth strikeout for McDowell. Here's Don Wirt. 0 for 1, has a couple walks. Here comes the pitch. And Wirt swings through it. Struck him out. We head to the bottom of the eighth. Five nothing Tigers. There's Fuller. He gets the pitch. And he struck him out. Fuller watched that one go by. Just stood there looking at it. And there's gonna be a pinch hitter for McDowell. Pinch hitting is gonna be Cap Peterson. Peterson has an at-bat and he struck out earlier in the year. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. One out here in the eighth. He's gonna hit that one on the ground towards first. Should be an easy play for Cash. And it is, he takes it himself and there are two down and here's Jose Cardinal. One for three today. There's going to be a little pop-up over towards first. Easy play for Cash, and the inning is over. We're going to have a pitching change for the Indians, and we'll be right back. Now pitching for the Indians is going to be Jack Hamilton. He's got an inning under his belt this year, and he's going to face Earl Wilson. And here comes the pitch from Hamilton. There's a fly ball out towards center field. Cardinals got it, and there's one down. Here comes Dick Trzuski. Trzuski 0 for 4 today. Peanuts, peanuts, get your peanuts here. Here comes a pitch from Hamilton. That's going to be a tapper right back towards the mound. Easy play for Hamilton, and there are two away. Here's Mickey Stanley, he's 0 for 4. 
Here comes the pitch from Hamilton. There's going to be a little ground ball towards short. Should be an easy play for Brown. He scoops it up, throws him out, and the inning is over. We head to the bottom of the ninth. It's 5-0 Tigers. Here's Earl Wilson facing off against Larry Brown. Brown is 0 for 3 today. Wilson has himself a three-hit shutout with a walk. And here comes the pitch to Brown. And Brown hits that one out towards center. Easy play for Northrop. One down. Here's Snyder. He's 0 for 2 with a walk. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. And that's going to be a ground ball towards Stanley. That's going to be a base hit. Oh, almost got him deep in the hole, but can't get Snyder. And there is a man on now, and here is Horton, who is 0 for 3 today. Here comes the pitch from Wilson. And that's going to be a little ground ball towards Stanley. Should be an easy double play ball. Taylor made to end the ball game. So that is going to be the end of this one, and the Tigers win it 5 to nothing. as Earl Wilson was just phenomenal today. Wilson went nine innings, only gave up four hits, tossed the shutout, struck out four. He's your player of the game. Sam McDowell now drops to 0-2 on the season. Much, not even, not a great outing for McDowell today. Gave up a little bit, one too many base runners and hits. Struck out six, his ERA is now at 5.52. As the Indians just could not get any offense going. They are now three and three on the season. Tigers improved to five and one. And we thank you for watching, and we'll see you at the next game. Thanks for tuning in.